फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 3.2 दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज फोर मार्क्स क्वेश्चन मोस्टली कम्स इन बोर्ड एग्जाम सो डू दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली एंड वेरी इट इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इट इज डियर स्टूडेंट्स नो डिफिकल्टी इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चंस नाउ कम टू द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज आस्क्ड इन द क्वेश्चन ड्रॉ द ग्राफ्स what we have to do we have to draw the graphs of the equations x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0 here two equations are given and we have to draw the graph for these equations what we will do in solution our first equation is x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and second equation is 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0. We have to draw the graph. Firstly, we, are, we will draw the graph. After drawing the graph, we will come to second line. For drawing the graph, we need solutions and you know very well how to find solutions. x will equal to one variable this side, another variable this side. Minus y will become plus y and this plus 1 will become minus 1. Similarly, this equation will become 3x is equal to this minus 12 will become plus 12 plus 2y will equal to minus 2y and x is equal to 12 minus 2y divided by 3. Now, dear students, put values for at y you will get value for x in this case y is independent variable and x is dependent variable because x depends on y for its values so now see solutions of first equation for y is equal to 0 i am taking 0 x will equal to 0 minus 1 means x is equal to minus 1 now take y is equal to 1. If y is equal to 1, then x is equal to 1 minus 1 means 0. For y is equal to 2, x will equal to y minus 1 means 2 minus 1. It means x is equal to 1. So, we will prepare table for here. For these values, we will prepare table. And x, y. Here y is equal to 0, x is minus 1. y is 1, x is 0. y is 2, x is 1. These are the solutions for this first equation. Now come to next equation. What is our next equation? 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now 3x will equal to 12 minus 2y x will equal to 12 minus 2y divided by 3. Now, for y is equal to 0, what will be the value of x? x will equal to 12 minus 2 into 0 divided by 3. It means x is equal to 12 minus 0 by 3 means x is equal to 12 by 3. It means x is equal to 4. Now, for y is equal to you can put any value dear yes, students you can put any value suppose i am putting 3 why i am putting 3 because 3 to the 6 12 minus 6 6 divided by 3 or you can put 0 i have put i have taken 0 you can put 1 also answer will come in points it's your wish which points you want to put suppose i am putting y is equal to 3 then x will equal to 12 minus 2 into 3 divided by 3, x is equal to 12 minus 6 by 3. From here, 6 divided by 3 means x is equal to 2. This is the solution when y is equal to 3. Now for third value, for y is equal to, suppose I am taking minus 3. If y is equal to minus 3, then x will equal to 12 minus 2 into minus 3 divided by 3 x is equal to 12 plus 6 by 3, x is equal to 18 by 3, x is equal to 6. So, we get
get three solutions for this equation also. Now we will prepare table. Now x, y. y is 0, x 4, y is 3, x is 2, y is minus 3 and x is 6. Yes dear students, up to here we have done in our first question also. Now we will draw its graph. Graph we have also drawn in question number first. Now draw its graph. I repeat every time that use sharp pencil while drawing the graph. I hope you are using sharp pencil. Your writing should be neat and clean while drawing these graphs so that every line is visible separately. No our writing should be done in graph. This is our y axis y y dash then x x dash I am drawing its x axis yes dear students it is our x axis x this point is called origin o x dash now check what is its minimum value minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 6 now 0 we will mark points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 minus 1 minus 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then minus 1 it is minus 2 and this one is minus 3 yes dear students now scale on x axis and y axis I have taken one unit distance on both axes. On x axis and y axis, one box represents represents one unit distance. One unit distance. Now come to solution of first equation. And if x is equal to minus 1, y is 0. And we know that x is minus in the left hand side of y axis. This is x and x is minus 1, y is 0. And y is 0 at x axis. Y is 0 at x axis. Now circle this and write minus 1, 0. After this next point, x 0, y 1. x is 0 here. And y is 1 here. Mark it and write 0, 1. After this, x1, y2. x1 here and y2 upside positive value. Now, join these points. Like this, we will join these values. We will get a line like this. And... This line represents which equation? x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. This is our first equation. Now, our solutions for second equations are x4, y0. x is 4 here, y0 and y is 0 at x axis. So, we will mark it and circle it. And we will write 4, 0. After this, x2, y3. x2, y3. It will come here. This is x2, y3. 
x2 upside y3. So x is 6, 6 is here and y is minus 3, minus 3 downside, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. We will write 6 minus 3. Now we will join these points. Like this, we will join these points and we will write equation here. What is the second equation? 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this is our first line which we have done. Draw the graph of the equation. We have solved these equations and draw the graph. Now, come to next line. Determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines. Now, we can see that a triangle shape is formed here. We have to find the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. Here, we have to find the coordinates of the vertices. And we know that there are three vertices in a triangle. Then we have to find vertices of triangle. Means three points. One coordinate is this. And we will check that triangle formed by these lines is with x-axis or y-axis. Come to next line formed by these lines and the x-axis means we x-axis ke saath jo triangle ki formation ho rahi hai, uske triangle ke coordinates find out kar hai. If in place of x-axis there is y-axis, agar yaan par y-axis hai, hum kya karenge? Is line ko aage extend kar denge, jahan ye isko cut karega, uske coordinates padenge, then this point and this point. Now what is given? X-axis is given. Agar yaan x-axis is given hai, then we will check from this x-axis. And these two lines are these. We will check where these lines are intersecting at x-axis. One point is this and coordinates of this minus 1, 0. Then what we will write? Coordinates of triangle R. One coordinate is minus 1, 0. Now second is 4, 0. And third is where these lines are intersecting at 2, 3. Means these are the coordinates of the triangle. Now we will write here also coordinates of triangle are minus 1, 0, 4, 0 and 2, 3. Now come to next line. And shade the triangular region. We have to shade this triangular region. We will do shade like this. Yes, dear students, we will do shade like this. Now it is visible clearly that we have to shade the triangular region. And this question can come, one, one question can also be asked in this question. Now, this question may iske alawa a question bhi pucha ja sakta hai. What is that question? Find the area of shaded region. Yaha hum se kya bola gaya? Shade the triangular region and find the area of shaded region. Aap se ye bhi pucha ja sakta hai. If it is asked, then what we will do? We know that area of triangle is Yes, yes, friends. Area of triangle is 1 by 2 into base into height. If it is asked, agar pucha jai, then we have to solve it. 1 by 2. Now, we have to find its base and height from this graph. So, this will work as its base. Yes, yes, students. Check its coordinate. Minus 1. Check the unit distance. Here, here, here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
यस डियर स्टूडेंट्स हम जीरो से चेक नहीं करेंगे हम इसका जो नेगेटिव पॉइंट है वो भी एड करेंगे फोर प्लस वन फाइव इट मीन्स इट्स बेस विल बी इट्स बेस विल बी फाइव यूनिट्स एंड हाइट वट इज द हाइट दिस हाइट वी विल ड्रॉ ए डॉटेड लाइन हेयर फॉर फाइंडिंग इट्स हाइट एंड दिस हाइट इज थ्री यूनिट्स थ्री यूनिट्स देन एरिया विल बी वन बाय टू इंटू फाइव इंटू थ्री मीन्स फिफ्टीन बाय टू स्क्वायर यूनिट्स वट वी विल राइट स्क्वायर यूनिट्स बिकॉज एरिया वी कैलकुलेट ऑलवेज we measure area always in square units then we will do here also base is 5 into 3 means 15 by 2 square units agar aap se pucha jata hai to aapne ye karna hai otherwise no need to find the area if area is asked then this question is of four marks agar aap se complete pucha jata hai then this question comes in four marks i think there is no doubt in this question if you are having any doubt you can ask by commenting yes one more thing dear students if you have to find the shaded region with y axis kya karenge isko karenge aage badha lenge agar iska area bhi pucha jaye area ke liye hum kya karenge jahan ye isko cut karega ye iska base hoga aur ye iski height ka kaam karega ab height ke liye hum kya check karenge x ki distance check karenge ki bhai ye point y axis se kitne distance pe hai and it is a two unit distance and if we are checking its distance from x axis then it is of three unit distance from x axis so this is our question number 7